Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Chevy Studio. Hope you're having a fantastic day and today I'm going to show you how to get Dolphin Emulator running on your Android phone. You heard that correctly, a GameCube and Wii Emulator running off of a mobile phone. I don't know how well it's going to work, we're going to test it out with Super Mario Sunshine today which is a tried and tested game on Dolphin Emulator on PC. This is going to be my first time trying it out too. So sit back, relax, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's just dive into it shall we. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to open up your web browser, mine will be Google Chrome, and type in Dolphin Emulator on the phone. Go to dolphin.emu.org, click the three lines and click download. Now you're going to want to click the bit that says Android to download it to Android. Click OK and download the file. Once it's done, open the APK, install the application and there you go. It is ready to go. Click Allow. And you can make your mind up on the statistics sending there. And there it is, Dolphin Emulator is on your phone. Now to add games, you click push section and it'll bring up the director that you want. So what you're gonna want to do is on your computer, plug your phone into your computer, make sure that USB transfer is on. I'm going to use Super Mario Sunshine, so I'm gonna right click my ROM for Super Mario Sunshine. Click the Mi 10 Lite, and I'm gonna create a folder in here called ROMs. I'm going to click into that and I'm going to create a new folder called Dolphin. Click that. I'm going to right click and paste it in. Now, to do this, you're going to have to make sure that when you use a USB connection on your Android, you click the file transfer because if you click PTP, it'll turn it into a digital camera and you can all use your photos. Or if you click charge only, it is going to charge only and you're not going to be able to find this on Windows. Once that is finished, go back to your phone, click the add, click the ROMs folder that you just made, click the dolphin and click select this directory. And there is Super Mario Sunshine ready to play. And I'll keep looking down what my phone is currently on my knee right now. And switch it to landscape mode. Double click on the ROM and it should play. And there you go, Super Mario Sunshine. Lego Super Mario Sunshine is running on my Android phone. Let's see how well it runs on this 10T Lite 5G Xiaomi phone. I forgot, you can't skip cutscenes with Nintendo. I'm just gonna skip to the bit where the gameplay actually starts so we can see how well it runs. And as you can see, oh, it's actually running really, really smooth, actually. Oh, spoke too soon. It is very difficult to control it using the touch screen controls. But I'm pretty sure there I will find a way to use my PlayStation 4 controller with this. I'll be making another video about that. I am sure of it. So there it is, Super Mario Sunshine running on an Android phone and looking pretty good actually. Very difficult to control, so I'm going to be playing this for the next few days, so stay tuned for more videos on this and how to connect your controller and how to play with the settings and just sit back and enjoy me struggling to defeat this boss. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this useful. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments what you want to know about this emulator running on Android. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Okay, so let's try and beat the boss. Oh. <laughs> I can't move with this controller. I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest. Right, I got the flood. Yeah. 
can't move. Right, it's R. Oh, there's no analog triggers, so that's going to be a pointless task, isn't it? It keeps going from widescreen to full screen as well, which is kind of annoying. We'll have to figure that out. Okay, so point and shoot. Here comes the evil piranha plant. Nope, that doesn't work. Oh yeah, yeah, it's inverted, isn't it? So... Hit it a bit. Yep, it's it again. This is this would be impossible to play the full game like this. You definitely need some like analog triggers. Does the PlayStation have analog triggers? I think it does. Whee, we did it. And now we're gonna get arrested. Shine bright like a diamond. And let's pick up that shiny thing. Pick up the shine. Nope. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. It runs amazing. It runs really fantastic. I'm quite impressed with that. I'll just press A so that next time I come on. And it saved my game to the memory card. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. If you're still here, once again, like. For more videos like this subscribe to the channel and don't forget and remember i don't know why i said don't forget remember don't do anything i wouldn't do guys